<laughs> now I drink everything. I, I, I like to drink bad coffee as well. <laughs> <laughs> If you do like a water tasting, you'll be like, oh my god, water is really different one from another. <laughs> and uh, the same coffee is even, even worse in terms like of tasting, it's really different. Yeah. So, and then no one thinks about it, it's just because it's like a daily thing, so yeah. coffee is coffee. This is like no coffee you've ever had before. Notes coffee converted me to the love of the black stuff. So I decided to take Ushka on a London micro adventure to find out the secrets behind my favorite beans. And never like a coffee at home, everyone drinks coffee. It's like, it's just cannot get I like the smell of yeah. that, but never like the taste it. Yeah. I started learning everything by myself. And then, it, you know, there is like this barista competitions. I went to one of them and I won. And I had no, no experience whatsoever. I was just doing by myself, studying and doing myself. That's so cool. And then I say, you know what? I want to do this. Yeah. So <laughs> I left my job. I used to work in pharmaceutical companies. Oh. And everyone called me crazy, you know? Yeah. I say to my wife, oh, maybe you should move to Europe like for a few years and get back. Yeah. My wife, she's, uh, she has double citizenship. So mm. she's Brazilian and Italian. And, uh, and then she said, okay, let's do it. So she left her job as well. Then notes came along. That's so cool. That's such a cool story. Yeah, it is. Seriously. All right, so we're at the notes roastery and we're just seeing the process of bringing the coffee in and roasting it and putting it into packages to be sent out um, to cafes and to customers. Uh, so it seems like it's a very precise timing operation down to the second. Uh, and uh, towards the end, um, the head of the roast, I guess, was just checking for um, cracks in the beans. And when that's when, when that's done, the roast is ready and it gets dropped into this cooling area. So I've already learned a lot, as you can tell. The most important thing really is uh, the Mayan reaction, which is going to happen between the 150 and 160 degrees, okay. where the beans are releasing all the sugars and we want to lock them in with the beans. Uh, how do you know you nailed it? Uh, we cup it, so we uh, we roast it, we let it rest. It needs to gas off, and then we cup it. So we uh, we set up a cupping table um, and we, we taste it basically yeah, in a really uniform way. When we get beans in, uh, we have to figure out the best way to roast them. Uh, the a lot to figure it out. Um, but a lot of it's to do with the beef density, which is how the amount of water in the beef. Um, and then the size of the beef as well, you get little pea berries. I don't think we have any, uh, but they're tiny, really, really tiny little beans. And then you get like the like puras, which are like five times the size of them. And so they're all going to grow so differently. Yeah. Wow, it's so scientific. I actually had no idea how <laughs> yeah, it's technical really this all. <laughs> Yeah, we still got it. Yeah, do you want to take the bag? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Unbelievable. Is this good? Yeah. That's oh wow. Really good. So take a bag of this one as well. It's, it's kind of, it's quite similar. 
um, but, but much creepier. Okay. It used to be smaller, but um, kind of it used to be yeah. That one smells really creepy. Do you smell that? Alice is grinding some coffee to the exact perfection that we need for the perfect cup. Uh, I'm really glad she's doing it and not me because I didn't realise there was so much technicality in even the grind of the coffee. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going over here. But it's really nice to, to offer to do that. Yeah. And to offer us some coffee too. Two delicious coffee. Ethiopian, yeah? So tell us more about the... E this is Fabio everyone by the way. This is the man behind behind the dream. It's the same thing, but what is your favourite coffee? The one that someone makes for me. As long as you don't have to make it. Yeah. Exactly. So of, of the ones you make, which one which is your favourite? <laughs> which do you think is the best? It's, the best for me is always gonna be like filter coffee. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cool. Any any kind of filter coffee, but the ones that made a cloth filter, to me is is the, the best. So there you have it. The secret behind good coffee is filter coffee and getting someone else to make it for you. So I know what I'm going to be getting Alishka to do to make my coffee taste a lot nicer. It was really awesome making this video. Thank you so much Fabio for showing us around and to Alice for talking to us about the secrets of coffee. I never knew how much of a science coffee making was. I hope it might inspire you guys to quit your job and do what you love or at the very least to try a cup of notes coffee. There's spots all over London, but my favourite is a little coffee cart called Flat Cap on Strutton Ground near Victoria. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're the kind of person who believes in karma, a little subscribe would be lovely. See you next time, guys. Goodbye.